Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we are going to learn how to make these beautiful crochet beaded moccasins. Uh, not too difficult, I think it's beginner friendly. So we're going to get through everything we're going to need today. First of all, I'm using two doubled pieces of yarn to do this entire project. I will leave the yarn in the description below. I'm also using an accent that goes around the slipper. And I used the brown for that. I will leave that also. I used a 6.5 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, or you might call it a crochet needle. And I also have beads. These are small beads. I will leave in the description below as well. You will also need a sewing needle or a needle that fits your beads and thread. That will also depend on the size of your beads. So be to begin today, you want to leave a long piece of yarn before you do your slip knot. You're going to need that to sew. So let's make this slip knot and we're going to chain 13. And then from the second chain from the hook, you're going to make a single crochet and you're going to single crochet all the way down. Now, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And we're going to start some increases. So in this first stitch, you're going to put a single crochet. And the next stitch, a single crochet. And the next, a single crochet. And in the fourth stitch, you're going to put two single crochets. So again, you're going to do three single crochets, one in each of the next three stitches, and then you're going to do two. And again. and you should end on an increase of two single crochets. Then you will chain one and turn your work. Then you will do a single crochet and your next four stitches. And then you will do two single crochets in your next stitch. And you will do that all the way to the end of the row. And you should end on two single crochets in your last stitch. Now, 
If you have trouble finding your last stitch, I would encourage you to turn your work on its side so that you can see that last stitch. Then you will chain one and turn your work again. And as you can see, it starts to curve and that's exactly what it should do. So now we're gonna do a single crochet in the next five stitches. And then in our next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. And you will repeat that to the end of the row. Now you will chain one again and turn your work and this will be our last row of increases. So you will do six single crochets, one in each of the next stitch, six stitches. <laughs> And in the next stitch, you're going to put two single crochets. And you will repeat that to the end of the row. And this is what it should look like. It should be curved and that will be the end of your increases. Now this is what the beginning of the toe looks like. So that's what we're working on. So right here at the top of the slipper, the moccasin slipper, that's what we're working on right now. So now we're going to work several rounds of single crochet. So you will chain one and turn your work and you will do a single crochet all the way across and you will continue to do that for 10 rows. So you're just simply doing single crochets all the way to the end, chaining one and then turning your work and starting again. Now we finished our 10 rows of single crochet and this is what it looks like. This is the top portion of the slipper going over the top of your foot. As you can see, it lines up with this one that we have made already. So now we're going to work on the bottom portion. So this will be going around your heel. And there is a right and a left. So the one I just showed you is the right slipper. So I'm going to turn this facing the camera this way so that you can see that this will be the left side. But for this to be the left side, we need to cut off our yarn and we need to start from the left side of our work so that it will fold over and have the edging on that side. 
So on this right side, since this is where we ended, we're going to cut off our yarn. But now if you were making your right side slipper, you would not cut. You would just continue on with what I'm about to show you. So working from the left side of our work, we're going to pull in our double yarn. Pulling in our yarn, we're going to chain one. Turn our work where it's facing us and then do a single crochet in that same spot where we brought in our yarn. And then we're going to single crochet 17, including that first one. Okay, so we have our 17 and this is what it looks like. Then we're going to chain one and turn our work. And now we're going to go back the other way. And we're just going to be doing single crochets back and forth. We're going to be doing a total with what we've already completed of 12 rows of single crochet. So you will just continue to go down with single crochets, chain one and turn your work until in total you have 12 rows. We have now completed our 12 rows of single crochet and now we're going to start piecing this all together. So I want to show you how this is going to fold up and how we're going to sew it. So we're going to take the end down here and we're going to line them up and we're going to pull in our yarn because we're going to single crochet the ends together. So do a chain one, go back into the same place and do a single crochet. And then do single crochets all the way down, trying to line it up as best you can. Then when you get to the end, you're simply going to cut your yarn and tie off. And that's how you put the end of your slipper together. Now this is very important. We're going to bring the side of the slipper up to the top. We're not going to do it flat. If we sewed it or crocheted it together flat, then the shoe would be flat as well. So you want to make sure that you bring the side that I'm holding together right now, 
you want to bring that side up to the top of the slipper bring in your yarn right to the edge so not flat holding it up and now you're going to pull in your yarn and you're going to do a chain one and then in the same spot you're going to do a single crochet and then you're going to single crochet all the way up to the side of the slipper There really aren't any guidelines here for her to uh, show you where to put these, so you just do the best that you can to close it together. Once you get to the very top of the slipper with your single crochets and you've got it closed up, you're going to cut your yarn and tie off. And this is what it looks like so far. We have a slipper. Now we're going to close up the very tip of our slipper. There's still a hole there. And we're going to use that thread I asked you to yarn, excuse me, the yarn that you were holding out in the beginning with your slip knot. So we're going to turn that inside out and we're going to take one strand of that yarn and we're going to put it on our darning needle. When your ends get frayed, just cut a little bit off and then start over again. It's so hard to thread frayed ends. So you're simply going to hold these these two ends together and you're going to do a whip stitch back and forth to close the very top of your slipper. Then you're going to weave in your ends three times. One, two, and three. And then you're going to cut off and you're going to turn it right back outside again. And now we have everything closed up and sewed together. So now it's time to bring in our other color of yarn, our accent yarn. And I'm going to try to get all these ends tucked in and away. So starting at the very top of the slipper, we're going to bring in our accent yarn right where we uh, ended with our single cur I mean started with our single crochets. You're going to do a chain one, a single crochet, and then you're going to single crochet with this accent yarn all the way around.
When we get to our corner here, we're going to do one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet, and then we'll continue single crocheting as normal. And that's just to give it a square look on the sides there so it's not rounded. And then right here at the end, you're simply going to slip stitch to the other side. Then you will cut off and tie in your yarn. And we have a completed moccasin. We obviously need to work in all our ends. And I'm going to show you how to do the beadwork in just a moment. Now that's our left side. And that's our right side. As you can see on the right side, the accent yarn is pointing towards the right. And on the left side, the accent yarn is pointing to the left. Now we're going to add our little bow. So I just cut a piece of our accent yarn. I counted over three stitches. And I'm going to pull in my bow. Then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to go to the other side counting three over and I'm going to pull the other piece of the yarn up and through so that both sides are open at the top and then I can tie a bow. And cut my, ex uh, my excess pieces of yarn there. Now I'm going to thread some yarn onto my sewing needle and I'm going to show you how to put on these beads. So in case you've never used a sewing needle and thread, you're simply going to put on your thread, the thread on the needle just like you would yarn. It's exactly the same except for at the end you want to knot it several times and you're knotting it several times so that it doesn't come through the yarn when you go to sew on the beads. So we have our needle and thread ready and now I'm going to look to where I'm going to place my beads. So I'm using the ridges in the slipper to guide me. So I'm going to pull in my needle and thread, and then I'm going to get approximately four to five beads. Once I get those beads threaded onto my thread, I'm going to pull down the beads and then I'm going to go over and put in my needle and then pull in. Using the ridges and the slipper allows me to keep a straight line with my beads. So I'm going to keep doing this all the way across for as many times as you want. I think I did four to five all the way across and there is a little space in between them as you can see.
I'm going to keep doing beading all the way up on my ridges, but I'm not going to go all the way up to the toe. I'm only going to go about halfway up. Now I do want to show you how to end this. So once you get done doing your rows of beads, you're going to do a knot by going in, pulling up a circle, and then putting your needle back through it again. And then I'm going to do it again. And once I do that and I feel that it's tight enough, I'm going to cut off my ends. Sometimes if you pull too tight, the beads will start to get a little funny looking, but if you pull a little bit, they will go back to normal just like that. I hope you love this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to find me. You can find me in the description box below. And I would love to see your pictures of your completed moccasins. Thanks for watching. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.